what's good how you doing so i'm not someone who really likes to make videos about big drama you know freaking drama hero drama deal goo goo gaga cry 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 but i feel like this is a drama thing that's basically a little bit you know important for me to talk about that's you know holds something near my heart just like the ss sniper wolf situation hold on let me try something oh that's way too dark just like the SSS cycle of situation, um, this drama seems like something I should talk about because it actually involves a childhood friend of mine. Well, not friend, but a childhood, I guess, YouTuber I used to watch when I was a child by the name of Dan TDM. And recently on X or Twitter, I'm calling more as I call it Twitter, um, he has actually got into a little drama, like out of nowhere drama that I never saw coming. And I think I should just address like what it is, what's happening, and what's all that. So, for a little bit of background, there actually there has been a new Mr. Beast. I, I know Mr. Beast uh, lunchbox called I think Lunchlees, where it, they collaborate with like Prime to um, <clears throat> they collaborate with Prime or you know like KSI and Logan Paul, and they made like these little lunchables things that's made by Mr. Beast. And before I even talk about this, I think giving kids um, actual like hydration drinks as like a drink is not good because hydration drinks are meant for like after you're done exercising and all that and I'm pretty sure when these kids um, I'm looking straight at the camera I'm pretty sure when these kids eat the Lunchables it's honestly not something that you should just drink actual like freaking Gatorade you know maybe if you're very tired you need some like choice maybe it's good but usually like, Hydration drinks are meant to drink right after you exercise. So, <clears throat> giving children this as like a, you know, happy drink time at like Kool-Aid, it's not really a good idea. So, when uh, Mr. Beast and them officially announced that out, the NTDM actually came out with a freaking tweet, 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 yeah, sort of, with a big tweet. So, the NTDM said, what happened to YouTubers, man? I cannot say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. Wow. Crazy. So I feel like Dan was- I thought Dan was going to talk about like how, you know, like this lunch lead thing is like very unhealthy. But he basically talks about like how it's not something that benefit their fans, it's just more like a way to get money. And I completely understand that. Um, if you're making something based on just to get more money, even though you make a lot of money, I think that's stupid. So I think if Mr. Beast, since he's a freaking, he's the biggest YouTuber out there, if he was to make something that actually benefited the fans rather than just a way to just make more money, since he already makes more money, I mean, there's like no need to do that. You already make a lot of money, so. Um, and I think Dan's right, you know, give something to fans that will actually help them or, you know, just to like help them out with something rather than just like selling them actual like freaking cancer or like kidney stones to them just so you can make money. I don't really get that, but that's what Dan said. Um, I don't see kind of weird thing to clap back, but actually there has been something here. Well, Logan Paul <laughs> actually responded to Dan. I forgot like what it was. Hold on, let me see something. Uh, I'm gonna pause, let me f So Logan Paul actually responded to Dan, kind of a shocker. And he quote, and he said, and I quote, I'll tell you what happened to YouTubers. We spent our lives creating content and building our brands. Now, we want to build businesses. You don't say anything when Lunchables face bans for allegedly containing lead, but when we create a better version, you're upset? Then don't eat it. Uh, so, I don't really have anything to say to this, other than that it's just stupid. Um, I'll tell you what happens to YouTubers. We spent our lives creating content and building on brands now we want to build businesses which I'm pretty sure YouTube is already a business that you're doing because you do make money from it I don't know why you want to make more money from it you're not saying anything when Lunchables face bans for allegedly containing lead but when we create a better version you're upset well Lunchables is you know different like it's not a they don't have a set audience like I'm pretty sure when Lunchables when, Lunch, bleh, bleh, when Lunchables first dropped I'm pretty sure you know I'm pretty sure no one bought that thing before it became allegedly big. But when you say like, you know, if you release Lunchy, it actually has fans behind it because I'm pretty sure that 
kids would just want to automatically buy it because all oh, you know Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, KSI, Prime, Pizza, Lunchables. So obviously the kids will buy it. Um, so <clears throat> under that tweet that Logan Paul said, uh, there was actually a freaking community notes thing or Weedle's context or whatever you want to call it. Uh, when you have Twitter, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so the context said misleading. In saying Lunchables face bans for allegedly containing lead and that they created a better version, it implies Lunchy doesn't contain lead. The Ice Pop Prime hydration found in the turkey stackums also has report of lead contamination of the ERC. Dang. That's crazy. So actually, so actually just Mr. Beast and all of them are just actually selling disease to kids. Or like actual like freaking lead, the like actual like pure like table element lead to children, which is actually not good. So actually too, I've, I've been saying actually so many times. I said it more times than I actually said like. Um, but <clears throat> Logan Paul, not Logan Paul. Oopsies, that's a big stutter. <clears throat> so Logan Paul, this is thing I have to show you guys. Uh, so Logan Paul actually clapped. Not Logan. I keep saying Logan. KSI clapped back to this. Uh, when he, you know, when Dan TDM talked about the thing, and KSI said, looks like crap to me, and it shows pictures, yeah, this is KSI, you see that right there, K KSI, I know it's hard to see because of the stupid freaking Chromebook, but you see that, KSI, he is saying that these things right here, say it looks like crap to me, but, I don't know if you can see this, looks like crap to me. You know, that's KSI actually just saying that, but I'm pretty sure, you know, cool little action figures of the NTM looks fun to play with, rather than, you know, giving children too much salt that can lead to kidney stones. I don't know. This whole thing has been kind of confusing in my opinion. I know it's very hard for me to explain this, but I just find it awfully funny how, you know, um, these two people, KSI and Logan Paul, just create drama out of nowhere. While Dan Tedium was just basically just stating an opinion. And then there has been so much memes on Twitter. Of like Jacksepticeye actually like said something like if you mess with Dan Tedium, you actually mess with all of us. So Jacksepticeye is on there. And basically the entirety of Twitter or like people who just support Dan Tedium are like we're going to fight for you Dan Tedium. If this thing ever breaks up like legally or something like that. And there's been memes of the like freaking... People making fun of KSI and Logan Paul, like calling Dan TDM like the freaking goat. And if you talk about Dan TDM, like all that, uh, you know, you can't talk about Dan TDM. He's the goat. No, no, he is the guy. If you talk bad to him, he's he's Dan TDM. You can't do it. You can't speak about that guy, you know. But I honestly believe them. Uh, so KSI, well, another one where it says, but, 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 he was talking about food, JJ. He was sponsored and promoted and made a whole video on Munchpack, a monthly sus a monthly sub box for a uh, food and candy to his Minecraft audience full of kids. <clears throat> so, a community account under um, KSI's tweet was that the reference video is over nine years old on Dan TDM's second channel, More Dan TDM. This was a one-off sponsorship when Dan TDM was given a free food package from Munchpack to try unique food from around the world. This is clearly different from KSI's partnership with Lunchly. Wow, I don't have anything to comment on that. Go off Twitter, go off. So uh, this little thing I've been seeing around Twitter uh, with you know making beef up with the NTM is kind of crazy. And like I wasn't expecting to see like any beef happening with this guy. But you know, Logan Paul, KSI, you know them. Just starting beef with anybody and if it does pursue legally, I do wish the best for Dan TDM and all, you know, all 9 million users of X to stand up with that guy, Dan TDM, because he's a, a nice man, and Logan Paul and KSI are okay, man. So yeah, that's it. Just something I just saw on Twitter, I just want to talk about it. Maybe it might get prevalent, maybe it might die out faster than Concord, we'll never know. Alright, thanks for watching.